Hey everyone, Toby here. Just thought I would do a little video before I dug my hands into this restoration. It's a beautiful uh, Osborne sewing machine, a very rare piece. It was made right here in Guelph, Ontario by a little sewing machine company called the Guelph Sewing Machine Company. Uh, they made this machine, this was their second model, their first model was a little hand crank called the Guelph and they won uh, various uh, awards, I think, you know, best lock stitch machine for, you know, awards for Canada, um, all that sort of little thing. So while Raymond really made their money exporting to overseas, which they also sold to the market, but uh, this machine was very popular locally, um, as would have the Wanzers been and all that. But, um, so here it is, it has that really, really nice sort of, uh, you know, that Victorian two-arm sort of uh, look. The hand wheel turns away from you. I'll lift up the presser foot here. And the feed dogs are a little low, we're gonna have to work on that. But don't you just love how that arm goes like that and just how the whole thing just moves it's really so wonderful and I believe our stitch length is here yes it is <laughs> see the feed dogs moving isn't that beautiful and it doesn't really have any decals left which is a shame uh, there's one at the Guelph Civic Museum which I had the chance to feast my eyes upon and it was in better shape um, at least aesthetically I didn't really turn it but um, this one turns very smoothly, and it seems like one of those machines that was used very, uh, a lot. And, um, you know, the machine that gets used is the one that runs very well and never lets you down. And we'll take a peep inside of here. And it's got the classic boat shuttle. And we've got a shuttle and bobbin in there, thank goodness. Which means that we will be able to get this guy sewing can see there the shuttle and the bobbin let's see how it uh oh yeah so it's different than uh than the raymond one i bought this this osborne quite some time ago and i really just haven't had the uh time to get to it sadly the uh sewing machine collection bug has left me i don't have dreams of having a huge collection what i want to do is just get my collection down to a few key rare Raymond machines that I really enjoy. So this one, as beautiful as it is, I don't have space for this many tables. I don't know what to do with them. I'm not going to sew with all of them on a regular basis. So once this bad boy gets cleaned all up, I'm going to put her up for sale. Uh, maybe just for a little more than what I paid because it's going to take quite some time to get this all back to the way it should be. So stay tuned, uh, I've got it precariously <laughs> precariously set up here because I wanted to turn the machine and show you how it works, but uh, yeah, once I get her cleaned up, I'll show you what the result is.